Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a super cheap roof rack mount for a shovel or an axe or anything like that that you want to store on your roof rack. I am joined today by Skinny Maisie. He's a neighborhood stray, but we feed him and love him, don't we? Don't we, little guy? Oh, don't we, little guy? Yes. Oh, he's a nice guy. So here we have the necessary parts in order to mount your shovel to your roof rack, which is what I'm doing today. Here is this quick fist rubber clamps, two of them. It came in a two pack on Amazon for less than 10 bucks. These are the clamps that will hold my shovel, but we have to figure out a way to mount it to the roof rack itself. So down here is where I have the mounting hardware. These are conduit hangers. You can get them at anywhere that sells conduit, but I got these at Home Depot and a couple of nuts and bolts and lock washers. And so we're going to put this all together and put it up on the roof rack. Before we do that, we're gonna spray paint it black and uh, just so it matches the roof rack. But that's what we're doing in today's video. Here is the back of our SUV, and as you can see, it hauls a ton of stuff. We've got our five gallon toilet, we've got reusable shopping bags, roadside kit, um, we've got knives, Bowie a water bowl, bungee cords, bug spray. But underneath here, we store our swimming bag, our hiking bag, and our green military shovel. Let's see if I can get this shovel out. Here we are. So here it is. Our little metal shovel that we use for camping. Now underneath here is typically where your spare tire goes. But we put our spare tire on top of the SUV. So in order to save us both time and room in the SUV, I'm going to mount that shovel on the roof rack. Here's the shovel and it'll end up being mounted just about like that. And so that's what we're doing today. I still have the receipt for all this stuff. Again, this cost me less than $10 and the hardware here cost me just over $5. So we're sitting at $15 for this whole setup and if you don't have flat or satin black spray paint you can get it for as little as a dollar at Walmart though I think I got mine for something like two dollars so nonetheless we're sitting here at under twenty dollars for this whole setup um, this whole mounting setup to mount my shovel on my roof rack so let's get started now the conduit hanger comes in all sorts of sizes and so you'll have to make that judgment call based on your roof rack and the conduit hangers available to you. At Home Depot, they called this a number one. And as you can see, it's a, it self screws into the other side of the hanger. I'm still going to put a lock washer and a bolt on top of that just to make sure it's safe and secure. And this is again, a number one is what uh, Home Depot sized this as and it'll fit my roof rack just perfectly. Um, however, at Home Depot, a number one only came in like a four pack. So I'm gonna have two extra, but that's okay. It still cost me for the whole four pack, cost me like $3. And then the rest of the nuts and bolts cost two bucks. So pretty happy with that. But nonetheless, yeah, this is the conduit hanger. And the size I need is a number one. So we're ready to spray paint all this stuff. Again, I'm gonna spray paint it black to match my roof rack. As you can see, I'm outside. It's a hot summer July, and uh, we're going to spray paint these and they should dry really, really fast. Um, I don't have a shop, I don't have a garage, so I'm doing this outside. It's really, really hot, trying to keep it in the shade, but it should dry super fast. So let's get to spray painting. Nothing too fancy whatsoever. Just get it all black. <laughs> C 
Simple as that. Now the hangers. And now we'll just let it dry. Again, this is called the Quick Fist Rubber Clamps Mount Tools on a Vehicle. Search that in Amazon and these will come up less than 10 bucks. So here are these rubber clamps unpackaged. How they work is, is this top flap here goes over top of this section here and then locks on to as tight as you need it. Here on the bottom, there's a hole now for the bolts we're using today, that hole is too small, just won't fit. So I'm going to get my drill out and drill that hole a little bit bigger so that we can mount it to the conduit hangers. And yeah, we're letting the conduit hangers dry, but this will mount to the roof rack and then this will mount to it just like that. And so, yeah, let's go get my drill and drill out that hole a little bit bigger. Again, with how hot it is outside, even in the shade like we are, it's only been a couple of minutes and these are already dry. So we're gonna flip them over and paint the side that has yet to be painted. Now while that stuff is drying, let's figure out where we're going to put our clamps. Had a sharpie in my mouth. Our clamps. <laughs> so let's grab the shovel. Fairly centered. I'm going to put a mark here and a mark here. So now that's marked where we're going to put our clamps when they're dry. Well, it's been about another two minutes and this stuff's already dry. So let's go put it on. We've got the roof rack marked here and here. And I'm putting it on the passenger side because on the driver's side is where I hang my fishing pole, which is currently up there. So yeah, we're gonna mount a conduit hanger here and a conduit hanger here. Now I'm cheap and did this especially cheap. I'm just gonna use the Phillips head bolts that came with this instead of getting any type of socket head bolt and so we'll unscrew that and go put it on I made my first mistake. Now instead of movie magic and editing it out, I'll actually tell you what I did so that you don't repeat my mistake. But I actually mounted the hangers onto the roof rack uh, before mounting the clamps to the hangers. Because once these are up on the roof rack, there's not enough room to get a bolt in there to mount the clamps to the hangers. So I quickly took them back off, spray painted them again real quick, touched them up, and yeah, when they're dry, we're going to mount the clamps to the hangers and then mount it to the roof rack. This is my first time doing this. You live and you learn. And uh, that's why you're watching this video, to watch me screw it up so that you don't. These are dry again. And so what we want to make sure is that the screw side is facing up like so. And then with this, that this clamps downward so this is exactly how we want to mount it just like this so again we're going to mount these two together Again, I went really cheap on this and just used the bolt that it came with, but it only can be so long. If you get a two inch bolt, it's going to uh, block where your shovel, shovel goes. So this is about a one inch bolt here, and I've also put a lock washer and a nut on it, and now I'm just gonna tighten it up nice and tight 
so that it doesn't go anywhere. And again, this has a Phillips head driver on it, so I'm going to be using my drill. There we go. The hanger and the clamp are now attached nice and tight, all in the proper way. Again, so that it'll sit there just like this and can lock. And uh, we'll do the same for the other side. Now we're going to mount the hangers onto the roof rack with the clamps already on. Don't make my mistake and mount the hangers first. That is the wrong way to do it. <laughs> mount the clamps to the hangers and the hangers to the roof rack. So here they are all mounted up. Looks really, really good. I don't know if you can tell, but I actually bought some brass nuts. That's all that they had at Home Depot and the size I needed. So I didn't spray paint those black. I thought it'd be a nice little thing if those stayed brass. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Now all we have left is to put the shovel on and that'll happen right now. Here it is with the shovel on. Looks really, really good. Safe and secure. It's not going anywhere going down the freeway. Now, if you want this to be even more safe from theft, you could then put like a bike lock around this through the handle or something, and that way it won't go anywhere without you undoing the lock. But again, uh, I have this shovel. I've had this shovel for years. And um, we keep it in the back of the SUV. Now we're going to store it on the side to save us both time and uh, storage space. And to reiterate just how cheap this actually was, these rubber clamps cost me less than $10 on Amazon. And then all the hardware cost me only about $5. And then the can of spray paint, if you don't have it already, two, three bucks. So again, all of this under $20, not including the shovel. So really, really happy with it. Uh, couldn't be happier. Excited to go camping now and just be able to undo these clamps and take the shovel off and do what you need to do when you're camping. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you're the best. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And yeah, that's how you mount a shovel, an axe, anything uh, of that size or shape to your roof rack. We did a shovel today, and yeah, that's how you do it for under 20 bucks. And so that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You guys are the best. And we'll catch you on the next video.